Hey everyone, Nick Brick here with a new LEGO replica build. The handcrafted guitar of Queen's guitarist. Here's the LEGO replica of Brian May's Red Special. Red Special, also known as the Old Lady or the Fireplace, is one of the most recognizable guitars in rock. It was handcrafted by Brian May and his father Harold May in the 1960s, and it's still played to this day. The LEGO Red Special is built in one-to-one -one scale and built entirely with LEGO elements without glue, tape, or any non-LEGO internal framework. It took about six weeks to design and build. This LEGO remake was built to scale with a Burns replica. This project started with lots of research, including visiting a friend of my dad's to use their Red Special replicas for reference. Lots and lots and lots of reference photos were taken, showing the scale of various components against LEGO elements. Here are just a few of them, and this last one here was for deciding what shade of red to make the body. Even though a Burns replica was used for scaling, the detailing was based on their original guitar, like the different bridge and vibrola, though I did build an unused tremolo bridge seen on the reissues. Now that we looked a bit into the research done on this project, let's get right into the detailing of this replica. First, we have the dark red guitar body. The original red special was constructed from an oak table with an added mahogany veneer and old mahogany fireplace mantle, giving its iconic red hue. Some LEGO fans might already know this, but dark red LEGO pieces are notorious for their poor color matching over the years. Every piece on the body should be the same shade of red, but they aren't. Usually on a dark red LEGO build, this wouldn't be ideal but I decided to play up this quality issue to an advantage. Stacks of unmatched dark red plates simulate the wood grain texture like that of mahogany. About half of the guitar body is covered by a black pick guard, which was constructed from black tiles and wedge plates. The whole pick guard is raised one plate thick to add some depth. Even with this raised section, all the details are there like the volume and tone knobs, the pickup on-off switches, the bridge, and the slightly inset pickups. Let's take a look at each of these details. The volume and tone knobs are actually pretty simple, composed of only four parts each. Yet, all assembled, they look pretty believable. And they can actually turn. The pickup on-off switches are unique to Red Special. The pickups each have their own pair of switches, allowing for interesting combinations and resulting sounds. The LEGO switches, however, are just for show. They don't move. Moving on to the pickups, which are actually the first details designed on this build. The magnets were made using rubber parts normally used to add traction to Technic tread links. I like the beveled edge of these round parts, so I decided to use them here. Moving on down near the bridge pickup is, well, the bridge itself. It was built using some ingot pieces, upon which the strings just rest. That covers all the details that are on and surrounding the pick guard, but there's still more details to cover on the main body of the guitar. The tremolo may look simple, but its construction is actually fairly complex. It was built sideways to create a structure internally to handle the tension of the strings. The strings themselves are connected by being thread through cut flex tube and wedged into the holes of these 1x1 bricks with side stud on the tremolo. The strings themselves aren't actually from a LEGO kit, but they're the same kind of string. Have you ever looked up the cost of LEGO string on BrickLink? <laughs> it's, uh, it's not worth it. As you can see here, the vibrato bar is actually able to move. This is due to the use of flex tube to connect it to its mount. Some click hinges are used to bend the vibrato bar to the proper angles of the bar itself, like on the original. There are two strap mounts on the body of the guitar, built from some Technic parts. Unfortunately, they're not sturdy enough to take a guitar strap, and they're just purely for show. There are some more notable details on this side of the guitar body. Here we have the output jack. 
Also, we have the white trim built with hinge plates and tiles to keep the trim thin and matching the body shape going all the way around. Can't forget any of the details that are on the back of the body. One detail to point out in the back is the hex bolt. On the real red special, it bolts to the neck. As mentioned earlier, the first detail design on this build was the pickups. But the structure really started with the neck, as it had to support the weight of the entire build. It was certainly a difficult trade-off of detail and structure on the neck, but I think it worked out. Red Special has a thick neck, which is what Brian May prefers. Thankfully that added much room for bracket and sideways plate framework. Probably the most fun detail to figure out on this whole build was the fret marker spacing. The fret spacing was achieved by building the center lane up the neck, allowing for the clips attaching the fret markers to be spaced with one plate precision. The inlays aren't, well, actually inlaid on the LEGO model, but that detail just couldn't be left out. However, some of them had to be taken out as the fret spacing tightens near the body. Those pieces just couldn't fit between the clips. The back of the neck is curved slightly down the whole length, using 1x3 curved slopes. The shaping on the back of the neck got difficult where it merges with the body, but I think it worked out pretty well here. The easiest part to build without a doubt was the headstock. It was constructed from five layers of dark red plates, and fortunately it matched the shape of the original pretty well. The tuning knobs are purely for show while the pegs themselves hold the string in enough tension to remain straight, but not too much, which would cause the tremolo to buckle. Overall, LEGO Brian May's Red Special is a tribute to Queen, one of my favorite bands. I grew up listening to them thanks to my parents. My guitarist friends love Brian May's playing. I even listened to them with my friends at Brickwell Chicago during our set drafts. There's just simply put, no band like them. I admire Brian May for being both an artist and a scientist, for being a musician and an astrophysicist. I try to do that in my own way, being both a Lego artist and an engineer. Also, Red Special was built by hand, so in a way, building a Lego replica parallels the story of the subject matter. Subscribe for more LEGO Replica builds. Also, like, comment, and share if you enjoy this LEGO Replica of Brian May's Red Special.